But don't expect that to happen anytime soon. Now, the sign's owner says this is in a prime spot. It's visible all over the city. It's worth millions of dollars to advertisers. And while they want to completely rebuild the sign, the city isn't on board. The big yellow sprint billboard wrapped over the iconic sign on Mount Washington is the latest battleground in the city of Pittsburgh's years long fight with Lamar Advertising, which owns the sign. But for now, it is staying right where it is. Is there any plan to take that sprint sign down right now? No, there's not. Lawyers for the city and Lamar were in court today. Specifically, this hearing was about a complaint the city filed about rust on the back of the aging sign with a prime visible spot. Lamar's people said they've been trying to do a multi-million dollar rehab of the sign, keeping its old look, but with modern lighting. They even showed us this permit application filed two years ago and a $72,000 check written to the city to cover the fees, but Pittsburgh officials won't approve that permit. In the end, Lamar agreed to repaint the back to to deal with the rust within 60 days and they hope they can go much further. We're hopeful that this is the start of, of a new position for the city and that the city recognizes that this is an incredible asset and it would be better for everyone if it could be restored back to the way that it should be. I should point out Lamar says they don't actually need a permit to put that sprint sign over the Bayer sign and Lamar is also facing several other violation notices from the city in relation to that yellow sprint sign. Those will have to be dealt with in the future. Reporting live on the south side, Bob Hazen, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.